old day 41. Uh, more Michigan Bibble stuff. That's all you're going to be getting the next couple of days. Our first order of business today is this camera. I did a screw up on it when I was doing my original wiring. I ran trunk line one out here. I just plugged that in to trunk line one. So it has power. Only problem is it only has power at night because that's the only time trunk line one is on is at night when we're open at night. Uh, we're open 12 to 4 every day and we use that camera as a head count. In other words it shines or records down here at the entrance and when the haunts close or after the season's over I can sit down watch the video and uh, count heads and that's how I figure out you know how many people we've had go through the gates. Uh, with being hooked on into truck line one like I said it's only on at night. So what I need to do is run the power feed to, uh, for that camera over to the only circuit that is on during the day, which is over here in the photo op, in between the uh, Skelly's legs there, you'll see all the cords piled up. That's my power connection. And you can see all the other cords. Uh, I've got to run a power feed from that camera over to here and get it plugged in there so that camera comes on during the day. Step two, I need to get in there and clean up all that wiring because it looks like a goddamn eyesore. That's step two. Once that's all done, come on Kay, let's go in and check on Mama. We need to get in here. Oh, and this is something else I did yesterday. The last part of our Q-line pillars. We put the uh, sconces up. Tried to show you that yesterday over the, from over the wall and it didn't work out too good. But We've got to get in here and get all the pumps plugged in. That's what that wiring mess out at the skeleton is all about. It's the wire, all the wiring for the pumps. So we've got to get in here and get all the pumps going, make adjustments, what have you. Watch the set dresser do her thing with the spray bottle. And if I keep filming her, she's going to squirt me too. <laughs> want to in the dark? So... I'm also, while we're in here, checking the ponds to see if they dropped in level at all. I don't think they did. And they all look about to be right where they were at when I turned them off, which means no leaks in the liners. Yet. Y yeah, her, her <laughs> saying, yet. Yet. Okay. Uh, now, one thing we've got to do is when we're uh, plugging the each pump in and there's what one two three four five pumps each one needs to be checked uh, for splash because uh, if they splash too much that means the water will come out of the ponds and that will drain the ponds and as we go through and adjust them and what have you I may have to come in and put a sheet of plexiglass up here to block the uh, splash from coming out and it'll drain the water back in. The hammer and clown, the luring skeleton, and this one I am not overly worried about. Over here though, uh, there's a nozzle inside that tube that the water comes out of. I may end up having to adjust that and I can just use, I use a pole to stick in there and adjust that, you know, aim it up or down or what have you, to keep it from splashing too much. This one here, though, on the other hand, I've got holes in the pipe up along the top, and the water just goes straight down. It doesn't splash all that much. It's these side jets that shoot the water out either way. I'm not... This one here, when it shoots the water out, will land over there. I think it will be okay. There's enough distance with the pond that it shouldn't splash out over there. But over here, on the other hand, those jets might splash out over this way. And if they do, I'm going to need some sort of plexiglass or something in there to uh, help uh, divert the water back into the pond instead of out of the pond. And like with that one there, and, they're, and it's splashing this here, it comes up with such force, it might splash enough that it might want to come out this way. So I may need to put a piece of plexiglass in there. But that's what we're going to be working on today, is trying to get uh, all the pumps and stuff up and running. 
Once that's done, we've got a slew of other things. I've got four stereo speakers I need to get put in, two in the Pirate, and two out by the entrance gate for the queue line, uh, for the uh, queue line music. And I need to get them wired uh, up to the uh, front porch. We need to get the stereos in, I need to get a projector stand in up on the front porch, and there's just, just lots of little things, so we're going to be all over the place again today. So Ann, your turn. Breakfast of the day. Uh, cinnamon roll with hot chocolate. Cinnamon roll and hot chocolate from the set dresser, not bad. There you go, let's get to work. Okay, got the camera done, and it's plugged in. We got the wiring mess cleaned up. And now you're going to get some never-before-seen footage. And I don't know if you're going to be able to see very much as it is. So Ann's over on the other side of this wall. we got four plugs to plug in that will activate all the pawns. All right, so plug one in. I'm just going to have, let her pick which one she does. I have no idea which pump is going to come on. Who the hell that the pawns are straight? Yeah. The prongs get bent a little bit. She's having complaining about that prongs not being straight. Uh, All right, watch out, cat. That's over here. All right, that one definitely needs to be adjusted. It is flashing out. Water wall pumping station. Hold on. And yes, I'm going to need a sheet of plexiglass right here. And look, what I'm looking for is down here on the fence to see if it's getting wet. And that is getting splashed a little. And it's dry over here. But I'm also noticing I'm going to need to get a paper clip out, and it looks like some of my jets are clogged. And that might really pleasure, too, if I can get in there and unplug those. But we got two pumps going. Okay, do the next one. Now at least three to go. And it's either going to be Dragon, Leering Skeleton, or Hammer and Clown. And since those aren't going on, no, nothing's going. You plugging in? Ah, ah, okay, that's the Leering Skeleton. And you can see it kind of dribbling out his mouth. And as he rock, rocks back and forth, he will pull it out. Okay, next one. That was Leering Skeleton. So it's either going to be Hammering Clown or the Dragon. And the Dragon's never been tested, so I have no idea what the hell that's going to do. I don't know yet. Nothing's come on. Oh, you should have two left. No. Ah, that was a dragon. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that one's going and it's really, really hard to see. It's not shooting out very much, but I don't mind that. It's a, it's a fountain anyway. Hey, okay, do the last one. Last one is hammering clown. You can watch the white spigot there. You can see the bucket filling here in the set. Okay, it's Oh, it's not working. It might be. Unplug that one. 
I'm going to have to get in and work on, open up the wall and see if things came unplugged. Hold on. Oh, hey, that problem fixed. It was the extension cord going out. So we just put in a new extension cord. Now I got to get back out there in the photo op and get that cord cleaned up because it's all over the place out there. But now we've got all the pumps going. I've got the cord to do out in the photo op. And we got a new foam head out for the uh, jack in the box. We have to get the mask and the head on it. And then it's going to be in here. I am going to need some plexiglass. Both down there on that end and then down here on this end. And I need to unclog the jack. Yeah, uh, what I can. I may end up having to take this fence panel down in order to get in there. Because I, I can reach it from up here, but as I get down lower, the fence is in the way and I can't reach in. I, all I need to do is find something small enough that I can just jam in the hole and unclog it. And every year some of the jets get clogged. It's just normal. But that will release the pressure in there, allowing more water on it. It may not splash as bad. So I've got the cord to do. i got to get the head back on, the jack in the box, which two hands going to do. I need plexiglass in here, and I need to unclog those jets. Those are all must-do items that need to be done right away before we do anything else. All right, there you go. I went and took my drill with a small drill bit on it, and I went through and re-drilled all the holes and all the fittings down both pipes. And they are all working, except for I got two on that one, they're just too damn clogged, they'll need to be replaced at some point. And then this one is all working, we got one, two. They aren't working on that one, they'll need to be replaced. And that relieves some of the pressure, having more water escaping. Now I'm standing here, my foot's getting wet, so I know I'm getting some splashing or I'm getting hit by one of these jets. So I'm definitely going to have to put a sheet of plexi in here, which I'm going to do next. And I think I'm going to do a small piece to attach to the side of the wall there to stick out and join it and uh, go from there. Get back, those back out here and join them in. If not, by the end of the day, this pond will be empty. So I'm going to, I need to get the uh, plexi in. And it looks like I need about a three-foot section there or something. going to have to say, I might have to get creative. <laughs> with getting it on because I need I definitely need this section here what I could do is the water is escaping from about here out so I could just do a 2 by 2 right here right here and just do a piece out, out and across so far to kind of help block the water because I've only got one piece of plexiglass and my main section right here is where I need it so, well, I better get into the shop and get the plexiglass or I'm going to have an empty pond. Okay, water room is now officially done. Morgan and Sue came in and we got the floaties in all the ponds. Morgan was looking forward to doing that. She loves doing the float stuff in the pond. Got another little question there. Now, I went digging out my shop and I had a full sheet of plexiglass. Four foot by eight foot. I bought two sheets of it a couple of years back for a couple of projects I was doing. And I only used one, saved the other one. We drug it all the way out here, and it was the thick stuff, not this thin stuff. And this is the size we needed it at. I really didn't want to have to cut it down to this. So we put it back out in the shop. I went up to eight, I bought the size and shapes that I needed. And we've got a sheet. I run from here, down to here, and then I use a smaller key and I just zip tied it together over to there and the piping's holding it up. And that's cur curtailing the water so it's not splashing out of the pond. And with it being curved, people will be able to see through it. Now I don't know if you can tell on the, on the deflection of it, you can see the water is sitting there. So, anyway, water room is now officially done. I gotta get my miscellaneous stuff back up to the front porch, get something to eat, and then I gotta figure out what I'm doing next. I should start on doing curtains, 
But I should get the projector stuff done too. And I don't know which Mr. Bibble item I want to do. And Professor C, stage five, Mr. Bibble. There you go. He said something about that in the uh, comments on yesterday's vlog. Okay, boys and girls, uh, it's dinner time. Been working. We got one of the stereos out. I got my stand for the projector. Uh, we got all the projectors out. The blue tape you see on them is so I can label them. That way next year when I go to put the projectors out, all I got to do is just read the label. Okay, courtyard, gypsy, you know, wherever they go and just get the projectors right out to where they need to go. Instead of doing like I'm going to have to do tonight after dinner, which is plug them in one at a time until I find the right one for the right areas. Now, I went through and I cleaned them, including the lens, and the lenses on all the seven of the projectors were dirty. And I've got six of them sitting there now. That's because I used one to uh, over in the uh, graveyard uh, earlier in the build season to get an idea of how big of a picture screen I needed. And I marked that one. So that projector, along with its speakers, is out in the gypsy. It just needs to be turned on and focused, which I'll do after dinner. Uh, after dinner as well, we're going to start going through getting all the projectors in with their footage, which is all on uh, USB sticks, and getting things focused, ready to go. Uh, speakers are in. I got the projectors to do after dinner, and I just had an emergency repair. Uh, when I got done uh, getting the uh, speakers and projector in over in the graveyard, I figured, well, I'll go double check on the water room to see, you know, how it's doing, you know, with the pumps and everything. Found a huge puddle uh, over by the water wall. Apparently, I bought two sheets of Plexi earlier I was showing you guys. When I put the smaller sheet in, I did brush against the liner uh, when it was going up on the frame. Apparently, I brushed against it enough to put a small hole in it. So I went up to Ace and picked up some of that Flex Seal tape that's supposed to work underwater to plug leaks. And we put that in, and we're going to see how it does overnight. But the pond is down about an inch to two inches, so we're going to have to refill uh, at some point. So we're going to kind of keep an eye on it. But uh, even if this flex tape doesn't plug the leak, as long as it slows it down to a manageable dribble, <laughs> you know, I'll be happy with it. And I might go in tomorrow and put more of it on, too, to cover the area a little bit better. We'll have to wait and see how things are. Because the only other thing I can do to fix it would be to take that water wall all the way apart, take all the stuff out of the pond, and then replace the liner and then put everything back in. And that was almost an all-day project. So, but anyway, now it's dinner time. I'm going to grab me something to eat. And uh, then we're going to get back out here and we're going to work on projectors tonight. Okay, here's your photo op, and YouTube's probably going to have a fit with the music, so you're only going to get a little bit of it. But we've got the uh, projection going there. Okay, snake spider. Supposed to be cockroaches on the wall. And now snakes. And now a set dresser. <laughs> so we got that going. Now we have two problems to work on. Uh, the eerie eyes, the memory stick I'm using, I have the uh, video files on. Apparently I forgot to put eerie eyes, the, the file for the pumping station on it. It still has the photo op files from last year. So, you know, that's just a quick erase and, you know, put the correct files on. I can put that in and then we can get that projector set up tomorrow night. And then, I'm coming this way, pretty set dresser. This projector for this screen here, there's something wrong with the files on the memory stick. I've tried two different projectors. And we've had a problem, had a, had the same problem on both projectors. So I've got to work on the memory stack. 
on that. So I'll do that in the morning before I come out. Stay tuned for your end of the day wrap up. End of the day wrap up. Uh, four out of six projectors up and running as intended. Uh, the one here in the courtyard, there's a problem on the memory stick. Uh, it's playing two or three of the files and then all of a sudden going back to the select screen where you select your files. And what I end up doing when I'm doing my things, I put them through my vlog editor, my movie editor. And I just put them all down in one, as one file. And for some reason on one projector, the main one I was using, it was playing three or four clips and then going back to the select screen. Uh, I tried using a different projector and it's glitching when it gets to that point. You know, I'll pay, play three files, glitch. Play another file or two, glitch. Uh, you know, so there's something wrong with the files on the USB card. So, uh, the memory stick. So I'm going to try redoing that one. And then the pumping station, it worked as intended. Only problem is, wrong files on the card. I have it labeled for pumping station, but I forgot to delete the uh, uh, the files from last year off of it, which was a photo op file. So it was all it was two music files, and I forgot to put the correct file on it for the pumping station. So that's an easy fix, and I'll do that in the morning. Uh, we got the uh, pumps turned on today. The photo ops all cleaned up. You know, the wiring and everything's all cleaned up. And it looks like I popped the pond for the water water wall. I went down and got uh, some flex tape. They bill it as, you know, a water leakage type thing. You put it in water and, and stuff to patch holes. I'm going to have to take a look at it in the morning and uh, make sure I got all the holes because it's still draining a little bit. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to have to take a look at that uh, tomorrow. And the pond's probably going to need to be refilled by tomorrow too. It's down about two inches. Uh, so I've, I've got that repair to do tomorrow. Along with the uh, projector stuff. And then I've got tomorrow night, I've got to get the pumping, uh, get the uh, rest of the uh, rest of the uh, projectors up and working. Uh, let's see. I've got one stereo out here. i got to get the other stereo out here. I've still got to run the speakers. I still have the foggers to do and the bubbler. Uh, bubbler to do. And then we're pretty much done except for the curtains. And then it'll take me a day to do the curtains more than likely. It always does. <laughs> So, you know, we're getting down toward the end of it. But at least you got some nighttime footage tonight. Fun, fun, fun. Well, let's see where we can get to tomorrow. Uh, oh, by the way, speaking of tomorrow uh, and projectors and stuff, when we were out doing the photo op, we had all the power on. First time the whole haunt has been turned on. Well, correction, no, we didn't have all the power on because I didn't have any of the brain boards running or the 5-volt items. But we had all the lighting on, plus trunk line one, two, and three. And we were out, I uh, was out in the photo op, messing around with the projector, and we had several cars stop by. People getting out and coming over, are you open, are you open? You know, and talking and everything, wanting to talk, so it took a little longer than I had planned. <laughs> but people wanted to know if we were open. As soon as they saw the music videos go up, they started driving in. Of course, we were st sitting out there, too. But, uh, you know, so we did have that happen. But anyway, guys, stay spooky. Stay dark.